Next up, pearls and pigs. This is actually, it's a little similar to what we've already said. In the Sermon on the Mount in chapter 7, Jesus says, don't throw your pearls before swine. In context, it's probably speaking about the Greeks of the day. Jesus saying, don't throw the pearls before the swine. That was often a reference towards the Greek culture. Um, we're going to say it's the youth. <laughs> Sometimes you might be having a conversation with a kid one-on-one, -on -one, and you do have to recognize, like, is this the time to share the pearl of the gospel? Is this now the right time? Sometimes you might just be able to say, like, Jesus is for you, not against you, and then you have to back off. But sometimes you might have a moment when you realize, I now is the pearl. Now is the moment because they're ready to receive it well. And uh, this is a hard passage because Jesus says it. And I actually think it, it kind of, all those people that stand on city street corners with their bullhorns and they're yelling about how you need to turn to Jesus or you'll go to hell. I wonder, it's like, is that what Jesus is talking about? Throwing all your pearls before swine. The swine don't even realize what they're being given, so they trample all over it. They crush the pearls as if they didn't even know what jewelry was right before them. Youth ministry is a lot of intuition in some sense. Some middle schoolers are ready for a conversation that high schoolers aren't. And so all of a sudden, you can actually drop a spiritual pearl to them that you maybe can't say to an 11th grader, but at 7th grade, they can handle it. And they're like, whoa. This kid's light years ahead of this other person. But if we're being honest, the same thing happened with us. Probably a lot of us were shared some piece of wisdom that we didn't appreciate in the moment. And then like a decade later, we're like, oh, that was amazing. I should have implemented that. But Christianity is a very unique thing because if you oversaturate a kid with Christianity before they're ready to really receive it, they can get a bad taste to it for the rest of their life or even for like a decade or two. When they have parents that lambast them with Christianity at all times, it can actually turn them off. They're not ready for it yet, but you know what? You can give it in little doses, right? Does anyone have any thoughts about that one? That one's a little tricky. All right, we'll keep going. 